just like in July of 2021. It took us some time and people were like, oh, is this the bottom? I don't know if 30K is the bottom. We're going to, some people were saying we're going to nuke down into Goblin Town. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be terrible. Don't be bearish at support, my friends. Pattern analysis will tell you. You see big wicks to the downside. You're going long, right? Elliott Wave Theory will tell you. You see three waves. Expect a completion of that trend. This is a completed corrective pattern. What follows is not another corrective pattern, but it is a consolidative reversal pattern, okay? That's what Elliott Wave will tell you. Um, You can use so many different styles of technical analysis to tell you, don't think short. Forget about that right now. Nothing, no indicator that is worth its salt if you're able to read it with some level of competence will tell you we're going short. There's bullish divergence on almost every time frame, from the monthly to the weekly to the daily. We are going up. This is where you position yourself in Bitcoin, in altcoins, for a life-changing trade to the upside. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is April 14th, 2022, and Bitcoin is looking like it's about to make history. This is a daily show, it's called Daily Bitcoin Update, yet I'm on the weekly time frame. Why? If you want to find out, then watch until the very end. My friends, this is how important this moment in Bitcoin's history is. This moment in crypto's history is. We need to zoom out, okay? In this period of trading where we went up and down and up and down in corrective, consolidative price action, it was important to go on to the smaller time frames. There there was very little opportunity for huge gains, for for large pushes, for large moves, right? If you were intent on making profit in the cryptocurrency space, it was in trading small moves to the upside and to the downside, right? We were almost forced to trade on leverage. The time changes, the market changes, Good traders, good investors, adapt with the changes. Zoom out. Understand where you are. You are at a bottom, a macro bottom, okay? This is a larger correction, right, that will undoubtedly take you down to sub-20K Bitcoin, okay? If you want to know my larger analysis and subscribe to the channel, you can find other videos where I go over why. I believe we're in for an 11,000 to 16,000, I believe that's the analysis, Bitcoin, after this is all said and done. However, before we even go into that, we're highly likely to hit 100K, okay? So zoom out. This is a great opportunity. What did you do in July of 2021, okay? Here was July of 2021. All right, May to July. And July was when we finally put a large move, 127% move to make a new all-time high at almost 70K. What happened? Well, before that move, prior to that move occurring, we had three touch points to the downside. Three touch points or a pitchfork or a reversal pattern or a rounded bottom. It doesn't matter what you call it. But recognize these patterns, my friends. Recognize reversals on larger time frames. This is where all the opportunity is had. It doesn't matter what you did in this area of consolidation. Congratulations, you made 15%. Maybe you flipped it to 100% on leverage, high leverage. But, you know, undoubtedly, you probably lost a few trades in between that win. And then you flipped short. And then you flipped long again. And you flipped short. 
What's your equity curve look like? What's your PL look like for this period of trading for these past 82 days? Okay. When we experienced this massive consolidation, put all that behind you with one or two good trades, you can make all of that back and then some. You can make, you can change your life. You have to realize as a crypto trader, as a crypto investor, you have small windows to make decisions that can change your life. And I'm telling you, and I'm not being overly dramatic. I'm, I really am not. Here is one of the moments that you can do that, right? Just like you had in July of 2021, right now in April of 2022, we have a big move coming that's preceded by one, two, three touch points on the bottom, all right? Although this is slightly slanted and this was more sort of rounded kind of uh, flat, this is the same structure, my friends. This is a rounded bottom. This is a completed reversal pattern, right? The reversal patterns I talk about ad nauseum on this channel, an initial break of structure, call it an A wave, a B wave following that, right? It doesn't always look like this, right? You can go across the charts. You can study these reversal patterns. They look a little different in every different asset, but learn to recognize the sequence of three corrective patterns an A wave, a B wave, and what I call a C section, which is essentially one last flat correction. Sometimes it's a, most of the time it's a flat correction. Sometimes it can be a zigzag, but it's a C section, not a C wave, a C section. And this is where we're at right now. We are starting, we're at the bottom of this impulse up and out of this reversal patterns. So, why am I zoomed out on the weekly? Because it really doesn't matter how much Bitcoin is, how long Bitcoin is taking to break resistance. Just know, just like in July of 2021, it took us some time and people were like, oh, is this the bottom? If, I don't know if 30K is the bottom. We're going to, some people were saying we're going to nuke down into Goblin Town. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be terrible. Don't be bearish at support, my friends. Pattern analysis will tell you, you see big wicks to the downside, you're going long, right? Elliott wave theory will tell you, you see three waves, expect a completion of that trend. This is a completed corrective pattern. What follows is not a, another corrective pattern, but it is a consolidative reversal pattern, okay? That's what Elliott wave will tell you. Um, you can use so many different styles of technical analysis to tell you, don't think short, forget about that right now. Nothing, no indicator that is worth its salt. If you're able to read it with some level of competence, will tell you we're going short. There's bullish divergence on almost every time frame, from the monthly to the weekly to the daily. We are going up. This is where you position yourself in Bitcoin, in altcoins, for a life-changing trade to the upside, right? So we're going to go into smaller, the, the smaller uh, time frames because this is a daily show, but I hope that makes sense. Keep the bigger picture in mind. Make a trade to change your life. You buy and you hold right now. If you're buying on leverage, you don't necessarily need to give it the plentitude of altcoins we have in our market but if you really want to buy on leverage go ahead just don't get stopped out because it's not worth it because your trade should be going 100 150 percent at minimum without any leverage okay now let's go back on the small time frames or on the four hourly time frame all right and I hope this was helpful. I hope this was useful. Please like the video if you find value in it. Share if you think there are other people in this space that may benefit from that message. And subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. We love to have you. Daily Bitcoin updates as well as occasional altcoin updates and weekly live streams, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. We're on the four-hourly chart, right, as we want to do on this channel. And what's going on? What's Bitcoin doing? Is it breaking down? No, my friends, it's putting in a leading diagonal. It's 
putting in an impulsive wave to the upside. We have this diagonal, right? This downtrending diagonal resistance. And Bitcoin's hit it once, twice, three times. This is exactly what we get. Uh, using Elliott Wave Theory, using any other method of analysis, this is what you notice when price is about to break resistance. It touches once, touches twice, touches thrice, bounces out. We're being, we're preparing to bounce out. This is where you're going to see volume. When we break this, you're going to see a volume spike. This is where you're going to see a big move to the upside, not just in Bitcoin, but in other altcoins as well. Okay. And if you will look at this leading diagonal, it's quite clear. We've put in one wave. Well, actually, this may not necessarily be wave one and two. This may be A and B. This may be may wave one. This may be wave two, okay, right here. In any case, it's not that important. What's important is that Bitcoin maintained structural integrity. It maintained its market structure, making higher highs, which it has done for the past two, three days. And um, once it breaches this downtrending diagonal, as I said, expect volume and volume's been increasing ever so slightly, but expect a volume spike to the upside. All right, this is what I'm seeing in Bitcoin on the smaller time frames. Now, let's quickly go into our altcoins. We'll see the same thing, okay? We go into Ravain on the four hourly chart. And again, just quickly, going on to the weekly because the analysis is the same right the analysis is the same as in with bitcoin you see we had a big reversal in july of 2021 we have a big reversal here too we're forming that reversal pattern that reversal pattern looks a little different in every asset right so to master this reversal pattern you're really going to have to put in some chart hours and be able to identify the reversal pattern and what it looks like in its completed form in every version and flavor, right? It's again, going to look a little different in every market. It takes some doing, but you can do it, right? Just keep charting, keep identifying, analyzing, right? What these three sequences of corrections look like and can look like. Here it's in a falling wedge, right? And back to the four hourly time frame in Ravain, we can see that like in Bitcoin, right, we are getting a pop out of this downtrending resistance, which we've hit thrice once more. Hit it once, hit it twice, hit it three times, popped out, retesting right now, uh, previous resistance, popping out, you know, and making a higher high. That's what we're doing in Ravine. Across the market, you will see the same trend, all right? Again, my target to the upside is quite simple. I'm taking a the length of this, this uh, triangle from the top to the base, right? From the point of breakout, and that gives me about 636. Okay, I'm going to take profit a little early with a larger position at 628, okay? So that's Ravain. On to the next, Kadena, same deal. We have previous resistance flipping into support, quick RS flip, and we're getting a reaction right now. Again, you see that we've hit this downtrending resistance. We've hit it once, twice, three times, popped out, retesting, expect volume in the reaction out okay so that is kadena target simply put it's going to be the length or the height of this triangle right from the base from the top to the base from the point of breakout probably here about 799 eight dollars even okay so that is kadena that's my main resistance. I'm not trading or buying and selling anything, rather, um, until that main resistance is hit. 
all right? And veracity, last but not least, same idea. Downtrending resistance, hit once, twice, three times. Expect, I think veracity may, it may be that we have one more rejection or it can pop out now. This downtrending uh, diagonal resistance may be drawn a little far. Okay, maybe a little something like this. Okay, um, but it's not that important. What's important is we're likely to get a pop out of this downtrending resistance very soon, which should give you uh, a move when it's all said and done to the next major resistance, which is simply the height of this triangle right there from the point of breakout, which would give you something like $3.2, uh, $3 cents, okay? So that's a 30 to 40% move in most of these assets, yeah? So this is what I'm seeing on the charts. Um, again, zoom out. This is not the time to nickel and dime positions and try to scalp here and there. Like, please zoom out and see the opportunity for what it is, right? Pattern trading is great. Um, trading these little ranges and, you know, doing it on leverage and, you know, making a little bit here and there is great. But realize opportunities when they arrive. That's why it's always important. Keep an eye not only on the short, small time frames, but also the larger time frames for when these opportunities come, you take advantage of them and you change your life. Hope this was helpful. Hope this was useful. Once again, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys tomorrow.